In the later stage of World War II, the United States planned to develop a new low-altitude bomber-slash-attack aircraft to replace the B-26 propeller-driven bomber. Although the latter was a classic model, it could no longer adapt to the new battlefield environment with the development of military technology. The new aircraft was initially named the Martin XA-45, and the A prefix indicated its primary focus on ground attack. After the end of World War II, the U.S. military modified the aircraft standards and renamed it the XB-51. The battlefield missions included low-altitude bombing and close-range air support. The Martin-designed XB-51 was a unique jet bomber that incorporated many new technologies. The bomber had a sleek, elongated fuselage and a fighter jet-style bubble canopy, earning it the nickname, Flying Cigar. The aircraft had a mid-wing plus T-tail structure, with a unique wing design featuring a 35 degrees leading edge sweep and 6 degrees negative dihedral. To improve the wing's lift and maneuverability, it was equipped with leading edge slats and full span flaps, and the wing angle of attack could be adjusted to allow the pilot to adjust the wing lift for shorter takeoff distances. The adjustment of the wing angle of attack was achieved by pitching the wing, as indicated on the aircraft body. The power configuration of the XB-51 was also unique, with three General Electric J47 GE-13 turbojet engines, each with a rated thrust of 23 knots. Two engines were installed in engine nacelles on the lower sides of the nose, while the third was installed at the rear of the fuselage, with air intake on the dorsal surface. The bomber could also be equipped with four rocket boosters for further optimized takeoff performance, with the rockets able to burn continuously for 14 seconds. The bomber had a bicycle-type landing gear, with dual-wheel main landing gear and small support wheels at the wingtips for balance. The crew consisted of only two people, the pilot and the bombardier-slash-navigator. The pressurized bubble canopy housed the pilot, with the bombardier-slash-navigator positioned behind and below him. The cockpit was pressurized and equipped with an air conditioning system, and both crew members were equipped with Martin's own ejection seats. The bomber was equipped with an internal rotating bomb bay, with a basic payload of 4,000 pounds, but it could also use external weapon racks, with a maximum bomb load of 10,400 pounds. Additionally, there were plans to install eight 20mm cannons in the production model's nose, with 1,280 rounds of ammunition. At the time, the United States was also researching a nose gun turret, which, if adopted, would enable the bomber to strafe ground targets while flying level and potentially engage in air combat when necessary. Martin built two XB-51 prototypes, with the first prototype making its maiden flight in the fall of 1949. The bomber exceeded some of its performance expectations, with its maximum flight speed reaching 1,036 km per hour, boosting Martin's confidence. However, the comprehensive capabilities of the British competitor, Canberra Bomber were clearly superior to those of the XB-51, and the outbreak of the Korean War prompted the military to change some specific requirements. The XB-51 itself had several fatal flaws. The aircraft's structural strength was insufficient, with a maximum load factor of only 3.67 g, meaning that even a slight turn could potentially cause structural damage. While the three engines gave the aircraft a higher flight speed, they also consumed more fuel, resulting in less endurance than the Canberra bomber. The bicycle-type landing gear was unable to operate from unprepared airfields. The U.S. military ultimately had Martin produce the Canberra bomber, designated as the B-57, and the two completed prototypes were used for flight testing, with one of them appearing in a movie. Both aircraft eventually crashed. The XB-51 bomber had an empty weight of approximately 14,000 kg, a maximum takeoff weight of about 28,300 kg, a length of 25.93 meters, a height of 5.28 meters, a wingspan of 16.18 meters, a crew of two, a maximum flight speed of 1,036 km per hour, a crew speed of 856 km per hour, a maximum range of approximately 2,300 kilometers, 
and a maximum altitude of 12,700 meters.